Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to our Two Point Campus Let's Play, where we're continuing the clown show. And I do mean that quite literally today, because we're going to be introducing a new course to our campus at Piazza Lanatra. And that new course, of course, is funny business. Now, I asked last session how many of y'all would be interested in or opposed to me actually taking that course on, and I didn't see too many opinions shared on that front, at least at the time that I was reading through the comments last. Though there was one comment that stood out that I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but it basically said, yeah, you know what? I dare you. Make a clown slash chef school. I dare you. And to that I say, yeah, sure, let's do it. It sounds like a fun time. I'm really curious to see what opportunities clown school sort of brings with it. I'm curious to see what kind of challenges it brings with it. And I'm curious to see how we're able to actually balance these two seemingly diametrically opposed types of courses uh, and, and how do we get them to, to sort of work together? Now, I say seemingly diametrically opposed because, you know, let's think about it. Who doesn't appreciate dinner and a show? With that said, folks, let's get this show on the row. Yeah, see what I... see what I... because row is like a... anyway. Let's get going, shall we? All right, folks, as we dive on into the latter part of this semester, as we move towards the conclusion of this academic year, I just want to really quickly mention... As always, folks, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. Again, I read through all of the comments. I take all of your feedback into account, and I've been receiving a fair bit of feedback that I'm going to try and implement today with regards to how much time I spend between academic years, how much time I spend decorating spaces, and how I go about decorating spaces as well. It's all good stuff, whether it's constructive criticism or it's uh, reinforcing feedback. I appreciate it all, and though it might take me some time to make adjustments of course, you know, getting used to new habits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do appreciate the uh, the feedback because it's stuff that I can use to you know, improve my approach or just know that I'm doing something well. So keep all that coming. Again, I do read all of the comments and the number of likes and comments for me is a very quick read to make sure folks are still interested and it lets me know what I should you know, keep doing on the channel, maybe speed up and maybe slow down. So again, it all really makes a massive, massive difference. With that said, I don't think there's any more time to waste or any more reason to stay paused. We should go ahead and uh, resume and uh, yeah, get this literal party started, right? We are in the middle of our, uh, our, our next our second, I believe it is, SU Spring Mixer. It's our third Spring Mixer, but the second one that the Student Union itself is hosting. Uh, we do want to get hygiene rating up to 70%, uh, and we got to win the county cook-off as well. Now, the county cook-off is happening in May, and actually last, I just remembered, last session I made a rather uh, uh, a rather foolish uh, error in, in judgment, so I just want to clarify that for those of you that might have missed it. But uh, our top-notch chef here, uh, Penelope Beetroot at the time. I mean, Montgomery Weaver and Penelope Beetroot are both at the same level now, but at the time it was Penelope Beetroot who I thought was going to be too busy to participate in the uh, cook-off. And I don't know how I misread that screen. It's so clearly, like, presented. So that's entirely my fault. But uh, as it turns out, Penelope Beetroot will be there repping this campus, as will Montgomery Weaver. So that's going to be great for us uh, when that competition kicks off. My only concern, really, is that their grades are okay. It's funny seeing 80s be A's. I'm so used to 80s being B's, at least, like, throughout my life of education, in most places I've lived and studied, 80s have been Bs, this would be a B plus. But hey, I'm, gl I'm glad it's an A. We got a couple of A pluses here and there. A lot of year ones are actually doing fantastically. That's, you know, good on them. What are our lowest grades? We have a couple of B pluses. That's not too shabby. Our, our campus average is actually quite good. I'm wondering who I should send uh, to, to get uh, a private tutoring. It's probably not a bad idea to get at least a couple of uh, tutoring sessions in there. Again, make some more money, right? Use that money in between school years to develop a whole new uh, wing, basically. Uh, Dottie, let's go ahead and get you to uh, private tutoring. And hopefully uh, hopefully there's time in there somewhere for them to go. Uh, and Ellie Carnage, what a name, Carnage. Let's go ahead and get you... Actually, Albert Thumper. You're just chilling in the student lounge. You're not even attending the party. Why don't we get you going uh, to private tuition as well? Get some of that tutoring in and, and see if we can improve that B plus and just up our uh, our, our average results, right? Uh, pretty pleased with that. Sure thing. Sure thing. Sounds good. Uh, but yes, apart from uh, apart from that uh, correction that I wanted to make, I also wanted to make an adjustment. This was actually recommended in the comments. And if I could just find our library, why am I, why can't I, oh, there it is, right. <laughs> uh, if I could just find our library, as I was saying, I would like to get, was it Rodney Infinity? Uh, Rodney, no, it was Ken, Kendall, no, it was Rich Asparagus, wasn't it? Who was like really, really good at, uh, 
at being a librarian. Uh, Rich Asparagus, if we take a look at your... Uh, yeah, plus 15% learning boost from library management. So I wanted to make sure that they were only working the library. And it didn't occur to me to do that uh, la last session. So thank you for pointing it out because I, it completely slipped my mind that we should definitely do that because they're so good at, uh, at operating the library. We should make sure they're not wasting their time elsewhere and being swapped out by other people, right? And let's check you plus one. What are our, what are our other staff looking like? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our staff over here. Take a look at our assistants. Uh, you got three and rich asparagus as well. So rich asparagus, sorry, and uh, and Kendall Ungent. Let's go ahead and get you, Kendall, working. Yeah, see, they're wasting their time working at this hot dog stand right now where they could be much better used elsewhere at the library. So let's go ahead and make sure they do exactly that. Again, thank you for pointing that out. Would have completely escaped my, uh, my line of thinking otherwise as I'm so focused on literally everything else. But yes, let's go ahead and hit resume. I think we're in a good place. We've got decent bit of money coming through. We might want to consider, let's see. Food junk over here, go ahead and accept that, wouldn't mind the extra kudosh. Uh, and by the way, yes, I do know I have more kudosh available for, uh, uh, for, for, what's it called, uh, claiming. I keep forgetting that word for some reason. But again, I'm just holding off on some of it to, to, to keep the temptation at bay, right? That's the only reason why I haven't claimed it yet. We'll see if push comes to shove and things get desperate, but we, we're, we're, doing, we're doing okay. 234 is not a bad amount of kudosh to have. I just wonder if, you know, I want to spend it on something like a smoothie kiosk or... Uh, the crazy taxi machine, which I don't have enough for. Again, I wanted the crazy taxi machine to uh, help with entertainment. That was getting kind of low for, for some folks. So that's why I'm tempted to get that. Uh, two people agree with the, the, the smoothie kiosk. Three people agree with the crazy taxi machine. Maybe I should save up for that. When we get two stars, we'll get a decent kudosh reward and we should be able to pull this out. Uh, or pull this off, rather, I mean. Uh, veggie kiosk wanted. Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. And the student lounge party, we have some time for that. We'll do that next year uh, for spring. But uh, yeah, once we get hygiene higher, we'll get, I think, uh, well, hygiene higher and then the county cook-off happens. And then we'll have enough kudosh to get uh, to get that uh, arcade machine unlocked. And the reason why I wouldn't mind getting uh, arcade machines and those uh, kiosks and stuff unlocked in this stage of the campaign or of the career is because... Uh, oh, this looks kind of funny, doesn't it? This looks very wrong, actually. Uh, the reason why I wouldn't mind that, though, is because we'd be able to use it in future levels as well without any hesitation. So I'm not too concerned about, you know, feeling like, oh, I, I wasted kudosh, we're, we're only using it here and then we won't use it for another God knows how long kind of a thing. You know, we, we, we're we guaranteed almost to use it in, in, in upcoming levels as well. So that's my thinking there. Go ahead and adjust you. County Cook-Off is starting soon. I think we'll do well. I'm fairly confident in our students. Go ahead and move this as well. Just trying to mirror each other, you know. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I, I will be getting more and more particular with uh, the aesthetic of our spaces as we go on. Do I want to mirror these as well? Well, he's sitting there right now. We'll leave this for later, maybe. And uh, I don't want to miss the uh, the kickoff of the county cook-off. Oh, that, that, that time it was an accident. Last time it was pretty much intentional. This time, that was an accident. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put you over there. And go ahead and put you over... Uh, we're like here-ish, approximately, that seems right. Henry Jobsworth reporting for a routine health and safety inspection. Six minutes early, as always. All right, Henry Jobsworth, go ahead and perform your inspection. I'm pretty sure we're we're all good, I think. Average hygiene is a little bit on the low side, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. There's our personal goals, another uh, career goal hit. We can get that kudosh if we wanted to, but again, holding off on it. Yeah, healthiness and environment. How are, okay, you know what? How is our healthiness overall? Pretty good across the board. Pretty good across the board. Oh, look at that. The milkshakes and stuff really do hurt uh, <laughs> healthiness, don't they? Bright, vibrant red warning us. And what about hygiene? Ah, uh, yeah, a couple, of, a couple of really filthy students, eh? All right, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and do what I was planning on doing earlier? I think what's going on is we have more students than we have, uh, like, shower cubicles for, I guess. Push you over there. Go ahead and duplicate you. Just so we can have more of them coming in at a time, right? Because I thought we had enough room here. There we go, we do. There we go. There, oh, come on. Pretty sure item blocked. I could leave it at just uh, the, the two for now. That would be an awkward encounter, right? Stepping out at the same time. That would be certainly a moment. But yeah, let's see if that helps with hygiene. Again, we have the uh, hand sanitizers plastered all around. Need a teacher in here. What's going on over here? Some good grades coming through, though. Who is... Okay, Penny Champion is coming through. And over here, Julia Peters. I guess they must just be taking a break or something, or grabbing a bite, or taking a shower, using the washroom. 
countless things they could be doing. And on that note, perhaps we should get a washroom over here as well. That was the plan at first, right? So why don't we go ahead and duplicate you and flip you around. So you're like this, right? Because I would mirror, yep. Mm, yep. Go ahead and pop you down. And we just got to move the door, right? Yeah. Scoop you up and shift you down to here. Oh, we got to move a few things, I guess. All right, get rid of you. Go ahead and move. No. Go ahead and come on. <laughs> just want to pick this guy up. Just want to pick this guy up. Come on. There we go. Took a second. We got there eventually. Put you up over here. Not gonna fly. Go ahead and pause for a second. I wanna, I wanna see the uh, the county cook off, right? Oh, we won it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> My apologies. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I, I'm not surprised that we won it, but uh, I was hoping to, to to catch at least part of it. It looks exactly like the um, like the other cook off, like the like the campus cook off. Uh, all right, these are all lined up. Go ahead and move you over to here. Get this over here. Shift you over. Ooh, that's a mistake. Come on. Oh my. There we go. There it is. Get rid of you. Scoop you up. Move you there. It's very particular about the order you do things in. That's fine. That's fine. Just uh, sometimes slows me down a touch, I guess. Do that. And now I would like the door, please. There we go. Because this is too close. Nudge you a bit closer. Nudge you a bit closer. I remember we had to like get this really tightly packed. It says they're blocked now. Oh, that's because there's no door, right? That would, that would in fact, block access to the washroom. There, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Put that in there. And uh, resume time. I should have done that when I realized we'd, we'd won the, uh, the competition. Looking pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Um, campus level is, oh, well beyond what we actually needed here. So that's good. Hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. All right, let's go ahead and get some... Uh, what are they called? Oh, they're there. Get some of these guys over here, perhaps. One next to each you know you're about to use the phone might as well make it uh sanitary i guess nudge you over there we go and nudge you over as well sure hopefully that'll help you know people don't have to if the showers are too busy and the other thing is again when when summer break happens student needs are still oh look at this this guy's in a rush where, okay hold on where are you going buddy he, he really wants that nap eh dude wants to sleep I mean, I, I guess he's tired enough to, to warrant it. For a second, I literally thought we were we were going double time. I heard the creaking bed, and I was like, "What is going on?" These guys just having a good time. Um, but yeah, I was uh, I was gonna say during summer break, we still see students take care of their needs. So if we don't hit it before the year ends, we'll hit it shortly after the year ends, I think. But let's go ahead and take a look at our inbox because there's a lot going on here. Gastronomy open day. Yes, come on through. Uh, we got the county cook-off results. We succeeded. Congratulations. One of our students won the recent culinary competition. We taught them everything they know, so really, it's like we won. I wish it would tell you which student actually uh, actually won, you know? So just so you, just for personal... It'd be cool. Uh, the speed walking wheel has been asked for. Cost 50 kudosh. Fair enough. We'll see. Quickly get this. As we say, gotta go fast. As one can. While, having, while always having at least one foot on the ground. Um, right, right. Of course, they're speed walking. They're not running. They're speed walking. There's our statement as well. M money's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Uh, and we'll probably spend a fair bit on some of these um, some of these items, like the kudosh expense on some of these items, when the year ends and, and when we have that two-star rating. We're at 69%. I mean, it's a nice hygiene rating, but it could be a little bit higher to get us that star. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Two stars. And uh, clown school is about to start as well, as soon as the semester ends, of course. What have we unlocked? We've unlocked romantic film. We've unlocked ripped cords hosting a, a local uh, band, basically, and we've, we've unlocked the Celebrity Cook-Off new event, which I assume we need to, yeah, it looks like we need to get for the uh, for the three-star rating, right? Piazza Lenatra. News of your gastronomic progress causes the mouth to water and the mind to wander. Still, as they say, a moment on the lips, forever in the crypt. Wait, what? <laughs> I've not ever heard this saying ever at all. But nonetheless, that is a fair bit of money and a fair bit of kudosh earned as well. We can go ahead and continue, obviously, because we want that third star. We need 100 students on campus. Oh, that will be challenging. That will be challenging. We need 100 students on campus. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, currently, we take in 27 students per, or we can take in 27 students per uh, per year. Right now, we have 50... No, we gotta check this. 
Do we have no third year students right now? No, we must. This must be a prediction for next year. Over, oh, sure. wait, hold on. Do we not have any third year students right now? Students, you're three. Yeah, we got 13. All right, cool. So 13 students are going to leave, leaving us with uh, 16 plus 22. That's 38 students, 38 students. We got to bring in 62 students next year. 62 students in one year. Okay, we're, you know what? We're going to need funny business to get that third star, I think. I think there's no question about it. Which means we're going to have to expand. We could buy this plot down over here because it's kind of close to the uh, the student uh, student area over here, which is nice. Oh, uh, we have the, the, clown, the clown wing over here. Not sure what we'd actually call it. There's also, I believe, another plot down over here that we could use. It's a bit smaller. There's this mirror one, there's this over here, and then there's this one over here, which is, it's got an interesting shape. And we could certainly use that, I suppose. We could have, uh, trying to figure out, like, another student area, and then the actual, uh, like, education area up over there. We could do that. Hmm. Maybe down this way, actually. We got a nice, like, kind of L shape going, or like a, a reverse L shape, I guess, going. And, uh, and again, we're, we're close to this student space, right? Though, if we need 100 students, we would need, what, 20 beds, right? Yeah, we would need 20 beds. And this is two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, times two is eight, nine, ten. Enough for 50 students. Well, plus two and two, right? Or plus one and one. Sorry, plus 10, 20. Goddamn math. <laughs> it's okay, it's not a math school. I'm actually normally very good at arithmetic, very good at mental maths, but uh, for some reason getting completely thrown off by the bed calculations. It's 50, uh, 70, 70, we have room for 70. So we need another dorm. I don't know how I feel about putting it in here. I'd probably get another dorm. Maybe we move the, no, no, this all feels how it should feel. There's the year done. Do we have a bunch of graduates? We do indeed. I feel like our grades overall were pretty solid. Look, we needed the average B plus for three stars. We got A's, so that feels fantastic. I'm sure we got uh, quite a few graduates going out with with stellar grades so that's fantastic get to see all the confetti and let's deal with the award show and see exactly how uh, how we're doing yeah i'm gonna have to figure out getting 100 students in here that's gonna be a challenge but for now let's stay focused on the present uh and all the uh, all the all the good awards we've won hopefully there's our 100 percent pass rate excellent 13 graduating 38 continuing 86 percent average exam results not too bad so i guess that's an a right uh if 80s are a's and then then i guess uh High 80s or A's, that might be an A or an A minus. Good stuff overall. We've got ourselves academic excellence. Average grade is A, average assessment score is 86%. You know what? That's fantastic. I don't think we've got this one yet in this playthrough. Uh, I've got it, I've got it like before when I was planning it or, or, or practicing the game, learning the game, but not in this playthrough, I don't think. Good stuff. We've also got teacher of the year for Simon Lillywhite. A little shy, perhaps, a little camera shy. Good stuff, good stuff. Could always use the kudosh. And under Campus of the Year Award, 81% average at attractiveness. That is good. That is excellent. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. The most awards we've won in a year uh, so far, right? We've got Best Teacher, Academic Excellence, Student Choice, and Campus of the Year. Love it. End the award show. And uh, let's get to work. I'm going to try and be quicker about our planning over here because, uh, again, I want to make sure that we are, uh, you know, moving at a, at a decent pace. Um... I gotta figure out, I gotta figure out, I gotta figure out how to satisfy 20 chef personal goals. We gotta be chef personal goals, can't be clown personal goals, so we gotta keep an eye out for that. So three people will be down for this, three people will be down for this. We have a smoothie kiosk, two people are interested in that. Um, I know we need, we need more spots to drink, because right now we only have the, the coffee kiosk, right? So even though only one more person wants the smoothie kiosk, I'm kind of tempted to get this. That's 100 kudosh, and then we've got the, uh, the veggie kiosk. Which is 100 kudos. Oh, no, sorry. No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant the uh, the crazy taxi machine, which is 250. So that's 350 kudosh. Okay, we've got that covered. We're good there. And then the student lounge party, which really only two students want. So I'm going to try and hold off on this until more students want it. Hopefully, when we get a new batch in, they'll be interested. Uh, that'll be nice and helpful. And then and then we can maybe get a lot of chef... Uh, the chef personal goals fulfilled over here. Health inspection results were pretty good. Hygiene was better than health. That's not unreasonable. All right, sounds good. Uh, please report that our campus received an excellent grade in its evaluation. Other filthier campuses will surely aspire to be more like us. That's about time, too. Apparently, it's not often that Mr. Jobsworth is able to finish a work visit without being hosed down. He thanks us for that. Beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, good stuff, I said. And good stuff. 
So financially, we have 151k, looking like 122 coming through next year. Now, if I manage my courses and I upgrade this one more step, we get 32 students in here. 32 students. Next year, students will be 67. If I go ahead and add funny business, average tuition is a bit lower than uh, than gastronomy, isn't it? 9,000, yeah. So normally, you'd want to keep an eye on your average tuition fees to, you know, maybe focus on the ones that are making you more money if you're in a tight financial situation, things like that. But we're okay financially. Funny business would be nice. A blend of improvised comedy and theoretical econ... <laughs> That's good. A blend of improvised comedy and theoretical economics. The two fields aren't typically related, but... Maybe it's a business decision, or maybe it's a joke. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to need, what, a science lab? We already have an electric... Oh, we're actually ready for first year. We don't need a new a new building just yet. That's good. That's good. And assignments, we have a microscope. We need the funny business bookcase, perhaps. Momentum marbles as well. Wait, that's it? That's all we need? Oh, that's amazing. It's the science of comedy. That's beautiful. So we don't actually need a whole new room type or anything. It only lasts two years, though. But you know what? I'm liking this. Like, can I not afford the course? Yeah, we've spent 30... Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. How many students could we take on? Let's see. So, if we upgrade this, it takes us to 67. If we don't, if we just get funny business, it takes us to 70. 70 versus 67. Now, I could reduce the tuition and up this to 37. What does that do? It takes us to 78. Reduces our uh, income. Oh, actually. Oh, no, I'd have to confirm for it to actually go through. Reduces our next year's tuition fees, though, right? Down to 4. 65. If we take the full... Th no, hold on. Full 27. 61. Add funny business. 75. We can't... Oh, we can upgrade you, actually. Takes it to 85. And here, if we reduce our tuition a bit... It's not really our uh, it's not really our money maker, right? Not really our money maker. Can I reduce it even further? I think that's the lowest point. I mean, I can go lower if I want to, but I don't think I need to. Let's go ahead down to 4500, take 20 students in. Um yeah, and we don't need that many uh how many things. We only Okay, no, we we do. Okay, we'll need another campus because we can't fit everything we need. What if I get rid of two students not here. Two students over here to 80 didn't I didn't did I not read 90 up there just a moment ago maybe I'm mistaken uh, okay let's get rid of five students then one two three four five we would need one more teacher and two more that's the thing because um, because of class sizes being limited to eight uh, eight students if you have your student count divisible by eight uh, you end up with uh, with more reasonable numbers, more more rounded numbers. Because the moment this goes up to 81... Okay, actually, we're fine there. Hmm, okay. There we go. 82, all of a sudden, we need an extra teacher, we need an extra uh, room as well. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and drop that down then to 16. Go ahead and up the tuition a bit. Because then, make that 16, yeah, like that. Uh, oh, this is higher than normal tuition. Oh, no, no, it's it's lower. Increases happiness. Okay, cool. Learning rate's a bit on the lower side, but hopefully we'll be okay. 81 students. I need one more teacher who teaches funny business. We need another lecture theater, and we need another savory kitchen. Oh, of course, for the new batch of chefs coming through. All right, so we will need to expand. We will need to expand. Okay, that's not too bad, though. 81 students, and then next year we'll get to 100, I think, right? Another 16 here. We'll have some graduates. We'll have to upgrade courses a bit. All right, let's go ahead and confirm that then. Sorry, I took a took a minute there. If I can get us to level 14, I'll be able to upgrade this one more step, actually. And then, you know what? If I need four buildings, I'd be okay with that. So for now, let's go ahead and confirm this, though. Right. And I saw the number change again, down to 76. Okay, no, next year, student's 80. Very confusing, very confusing, because that's different as well. Anyway, you know what? That's fine, 80 students. Let's go ahead and see if we can't, uh, yeah, expand, get to level 14, and see what that does for us. We have 151k in the bank, so we got to be careful with how we spend it. If we're going to add another lecture hall and another um, savory kitchen, 
I say we do it over here. Keep this the chef's corner. And again, funny business doesn't require any classrooms, just the lecture theater. So we could add like dorms and stuff over here. I'm just trying to figure out how I want this spread to be. Because the students are, if they're resting over here, showering over here and all that, I want them to be able to get to class quickly, right? Uh, and I could add a door back here to that end. Why don't we actually go ahead and do that first? Add a, gonna add a main entrance that doubles as an exit because I mean, sometimes student use this, sometimes don't. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, fine. Let's make a like a side exit over here. Go ahead and get. Uh, no, yeah. Make that happen, please and thank you. I could go ahead and of course beautify this space as well. That's been my plan for a while. If we could get the um, grass down over here, leave what a couple of tiles there, a couple of tiles here. Do this kind of a thing. There you go. Just, you know, making the outside space a little bit nicer. Uh, go ahead and make this like so. Get these tiles, I think. No, that's not the right one. What is the right one? This one? Yeah, that looks right. Cool. Get that down there. Again, this is all free, right? So it doesn't actually cost us any money. Put you down there. Put you down here. Is that a lighter tone one? Yeah, it is. Nice. Almost missed that too. Sure, let's do that. Go ahead and pop you down over here. Got some uh, landscaping udosh, good stuff, not gonna complain about that. There, that looks right. Um, and why don't we go ahead and put a second layer down there. And what we'll do is actually, hmm, do this as well actually, put you down there. Go ahead and get you down here and you up over here. Is that the right color? No, it is not. Not the right shape either. What, what is this? What am I doing? I'm completely getting this wrong. Yeah, that looks right. I know I shrunk this a bit, but I think it, it, it looks symmetrical enough. No, that's better. All right, cool. We'll do that. We'll add some more like trees and stuff down the line, add some spaces to eat, get some of those kiosks down here as well. So students don't have to go all the way here to eat every time. This will be a nice food court kind of an area. But let's go ahead and yes, buy this plot over here, which is what I should have done first because it actually takes time. Uh, let's go ahead and buy it with buildings. Should be a nice shape. I, I don't think... I don't think... Actually, keep it empty. We'll, we'll, we'll make our own campus. So while that's happening, uh, let's see. What do we need? We need another lecture theater, another savory kitchen, and a funny business teacher. Let's take a look at our teacher options. Funny business, all level one. Oh, level two over here. Penelope Gruff. All right. Oh, Luca Hurt over here. An inspiring teacher, able to teach uh, gastronomy at a higher level than any of our other uh, teachers, I believe. Let's see. Lollygagger moves slower than most. Poor personal hygiene. Not ideal. Not ideal. Luca... Hurt. You know what? Let's go ahead and get you in here, Luca Hurt. Kind of pricey. Kind of pricey, but wouldn't mind having another tutor, you know, available. Just to, to rotate staff and stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's get uh, Penelope Gruff, I guess. She's not, again, not the best. Not the best. But not bad either. I could wait for a new applicant and just see if we end up getting, uh, getting someone better. So why don't we hold off on that? Meanwhile, down over here, I would like to expand so we can get to level 14, right? We got the open day report. Excellent. I'll take the kudosh. Thank you very much. And let us build the campus building down here. Um, I want to go right up against there. Do we want more green space out front? I think yes. So why don't we go ahead and do this kind of a thing? Um, like that, I think, would be nice lined up with that eventually we can expand a wing down over here no you know what um cancel that sorry go ahead and do a step back i think that's nicer and i'll explain why in a moment so let's get you up to there i mean i could go a bit further let's get you up to there for now i think the the prestige balance is is good there and let's get the entrance right over here trying to line that up as best as possible i think i need to hold down control to line it up better do that and uh, then we can go ahead and, well, confirm this, sure. We'll, as that's building, we'll put down the path over here like so. Nope, it's got to be this one, I think. Well, this one goes around the, yeah, no, it's got to be this one? No, this one's different. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, not the end of the world. Go and do that, go ahead and do that. And then we can get the uh, grass down over here. Maybe we can put down a... Uh, just some interesting features, some benches on this side. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Some benches on that side, some like a park kind of a thing, maybe some kiosks over here. That's feeling pretty good. It's a nice mirror of what's going on down there. I could expand this 
over to here. Yes, I can. And I can go ahead and line this up with what's going on down there. I like that quite a bit, actually. Cool. That sounds good to me. Over here, let's go ahead and do what? So first of all, I would like a washroom over here. I think these ones are pretty well, uh, like, managed, well-built, well-styled like styled and everything. Let's go ahead and duplicate you, pop you down over here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Money's still looking all right. And we're going to need what? There's our campus level up. So if I go ahead and actually upgrade you one more step, takes us to 89 students. Can't afford an upgrade to this, but I can upgrade you. You can see though, it, it means we'll need more, um, more things. Can I get 90 students? Trying to figure out 90 students. Oh, hmm, I see. Don't think this will fly. Go to 4,500, get 25 students. There we go, that's better. 91 students. And I take on more here. Taking a big risk with the reduced, uh, reduced um, tuition fees. Really gonna need... Oh, you know what? I feel very good about that, actually, on second thought. Can I not get any more? Ah, uh, really? That's it? Okay, it's gonna be next year then. Down to 6,700 to get all those students in. Fair enough. What? Now it's down to 90... What? Uh, what? What? Don't understand that. And now it's down to 90... What? Okay, revert changes. Alright, let's see. 80 students. I upgrade this course. Takes us to 89. Alright? I go in here. I reduce tuition. We're able to add more students in. Takes us to 93. Great. I go in over here. I reduce tuition. As low as I can take it. There we go. 98. That's the most we can get right now. All good. Confirm that. Okay, now it went down to 80, and if I go back to course management, it's 97 as opposed to 98. I don't get it. But as long as it's 97. As long as it's 97. So we need three funny business teachers now. Oh boy, okay. Ugh, gonna get a little tighter. And we are going to need another savory kitchen. I think we knew that already. And two more lecture halls now. Alright, fair enough. So definitely, uh, definitely up the uh, ante a little bit. Not a problem. Go ahead and copy this lecture hall. Copy down. Have them both over here, I suppose. And the uh, last kitchen down over there, perhaps. Let's see. Uh, put you down over here. Yep. Getting expensive. Duplicate you and put you down over... I figured out if I want to leave that hallway gap over there. Alright, let's uh, move this door. Down here and... Uh, can't. Oh, there we go. Over here, right next to the lectern. Good stuff. Duplicate you now over to here. Put you over here instead. Could, you nud could nudge things a bit closer. A bit of a smaller lecture hall, I suppose. Look a bit cleaner, maybe. What if I... There we go, we could do that instead. A little swerving, uh, swerving sections. Oh, let's, you know, let's do that instead. Alright, cool. Sorry, my apologies. Flip you around, put you back to where you were originally. And, uh... Go ahead and duplicate you. Flip you around like this. Slightly different layout over here. Yes, gonna have to move the door, of course. To down... Well, okay, hold on. Because what I want to do is I want to adjust a few different things. I can't put you down temporarily, eh? Get rid of you. Go ahead and move... You over to the side. Pull the lectern down a bit. Can't do that until I move you down a bit. This will be a smaller lecture, uh, lecture hall. Right, I need I need a wall for this. I wish things weren't so like restrictive in that sense. Get rid of you for now. I wish I could just like place them in the middle while I move things around and, and, and just get things organized, but I guess I guess not. Go ahead and fix that. Make these lined up. Oh, how much of a difference does that actually make? Seems like a pretty big difference, eh? Well that's if it's built in. It takes us right up to five. If I get rid of it. it takes us to about four and three quarters. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. Pop you down over here. Go ahead and get uh, the door set up over here, I think. Move. The bin's fine over there, I think. Get the hand sanitizer over here. Move the bin over here, actually. Get this thing back over here. I could maybe buy what? What could I get? I could get something in here. 
campus poster. Interesting. Didn't notice that earlier. I, I think we're probably okay. We've got a bunch of windows and everything as well. Could add another window, I suppose. Can't have too many windows. Oh, actually, I guess we can have too many windows. Couldn't get rid of that. Making a hole in the wall costs us money, and money might get... Oh, money is getting tight, actually. Alright, I think that's good. I think that's good. Go with that for now. So now we just need another savory kitchen, and we need a funny... Three funny business teachers. Right. Take a quick look and see. Oh. Recruitment fee is 5,000. Don't mind that. Let's go ahead and get you first. One. Get you. Two. Oh boy, we're gonna need another loan. We're gonna need another loan. There's no other way around it. Uh, and three. Who's number three? So these guys are pretty, pretty even, squeaky clean. It moves faster than most. Most. Oh, we got you as well, though. Ah, too expensive. I can't afford you right now. That inspiration and, and increased teaching skill. You know what? If it's time for a loan, it's time for a loan. Let's go ahead and get one. Uh, I think the lowest one will 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 take us all the way. I really hope it does. Go ahead and hire you. Excellent. Good stuff. And that last savory kitchen. Can I duplicate one of these? I should be able to afford it. Campus is leveled up again. Not enough to actually upgrade a course or anything, unfortunately. But let's copy you and place you where? Right by the washrooms. I'll have to get rid of uh, a, a line there. Can I do this? I don't mind this layout with the door facing that way. I think I prefer this, though. The, the windows looking into the washrooms have to go, obviously. But and pop you down like that. Very expensive. Very expensive. But all good. It's the, uh, the price of education, right? I would like to get rid of these windows, please. There we go. Get rid of you. And get rid of you. We can nudge all this stuff down a little bit. Shift you. Oh. Go ahead and move this bit. Ugh. The, the hitbox on this thing is huge. Absolutely massive. Go ahead and move you down to... Come on now. Here. Go ahead and move... Nope. You. Thank you very much. Down to here. Get you pulled down this way as well. And get the uh, sink up over here. I mean, again, this might be too high quality a room for what we actually need. Let's be realistic. But... Um, can't sacrifice the education, right? Oh, you know what? I don't think I can actually pull this back. Unless I move you up to here. In that case, there we go. We should be able to pull you back now. Like so. Get the, uh, stand mixer. Get the stand mixer down over here, next to the, the food groups. The recipe book. Maybe we get rid of these two. Again, this doesn't have to be as high-end as some of the other ones, right? Got the cupboard over here, perhaps. Uh, won't fit. All right, off you go. Uh, off you go as well. I guess I should be looking at the, uh, the room itself to see how we're affecting its prestige. Get you down over there. Good stuff. This recipe book can go over here. And you know what? Since we have that room after all, I'm going to put you down. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to drop it a bit, right? Because we're going to shrink the room as well. Let's not forget. Move you over to here. And let's shrink the room. Oh, by a bit. This is still too... Yeah, you know what? I guess we can't shrink the room. What if I do that? Can we? Yeah, that should be good. Why is it not letting me? Why? Why? Why game? Alright, let's check that first. Go ahead and back to editing. That's so weird. It's empty. It's very much empty. What? I... <laughs> Alright. It's... It's fine, I guess. I don't love it because we have this weird jarring shape over here that I would like to get rid of, but I can't. What if I do this? It won't even let me grow it. Not sure what's going on. Might be a bug. Might be... I'll need to come back here when the school year starts and adjust it. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and move this door up over to here. It looks a bit nicer, I think. Fits a bit more nicely. We'll have to make adjustments, obviously, if we're actually able to reduce the size of this room. But leave it at that for now. It gives us some more room over here. 
Uh, maybe we'll put like a vending machine or something over here so it feels a bit more natural. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and build that. 9,300 left. What can I put here? You know what we need? We need some water coolers and stuff. Let's go ahead and get one not right next to the washroom. Uh, let's get one right out over here. Allow students to socialize a bit. Uh, maybe get one over here as well before you go into class. I'll fulfill their, uh, their, their drinking needs, right? Their, at least their water drinking needs. Uh, and what else could we get? What else could we get? A <laughs> chef's menu right outside the washroom? That seems a little... I don't know. Don't know about that one. Don't know about that one. Get a drink right outside the washroom? I could could do that. Could pop this over here. Sure, let's do that. we got 8,700 left. Uh, with that, I think we can go ahead and put down some benches outside. Alright, let's go ahead and get... Uh, or, you know what? Maybe we should wait until students ask for things. One thing I wouldn't mind getting, though, is the... Right. Pearl of Wisdom increases attractiveness. Can we put those inside? We can. Maybe maybe when we need to, because they're, they're a bit pricier than I thought. Ooh, a Rose Garden. They develop sweethearts into, into soulmates. Increases attractiveness, belongs outside, of course. All right, I don't mind that. Concrete bench for heavy-duty seating. All right, hold off on that. Let's go ahead and spend some of this kudosh, right? Spend some of that kudosh, because we actually have to buy the things with the kudosh as well. And, or am I waiting, I guess? I guess I could wait a little bit longer just to see how many more students end up agreeing or if more impressive things come through. Because, again, the new batch of chefs will probably have their own requests, right? Uh, with regards to uh, satisfying goals. And more goals will come up as well. And some of them, of course, we can already satisfy as they come up. We already have what we need uh, to satisfy them. Am I happy with this space? My apologies for, for just double-checking how I feel about this space. I think it's okay. Smaller lecture hall, smaller, uh, larger lecture hall. We've got the, the chef stuff over here. We need bins. I just noticed the litter there. One last thing, and then we can start the year. Put a bin out over here. Put a bin out over here. Put a bin out over here as well. Oh, come on. Won't fit. Fair enough. Let's then uh, go ahead and get some benches in here. Where are my regular indoor benches, please? And thank you. There we go. Pop one down over here, just outside the lecture hall. So, you know, when you're waiting for your class or something, you can just sit down. This hallway, not the biggest fan of, I'll be honest. Very narrow. Uh, maybe we can make it a bit nicer. Maybe we can add a large window at the end over here and get, like, a plant in there or something. That would at least make it a bit more... Yeah, you know, like, that feels intentional, decorative. Maybe we can put a speed walking thing in there or something as well. Either way, we'll, we'll figure that out when we have a bit more money on hand. For now, though, let's go ahead and start that academic year. Uh, we have to do a celebrity cook-off this year. Uh, we'll wait until some of our students become higher, you know, higher ranked, I guess. And then we'll host a celebrity cook-off, maybe around, uh, maybe around winter, like winter break, the holidays. And we'll see uh, what else we can pull off. This is going to be a challenge, though. Can't upgrade you, can't upgrade you. We've got 97 students coming in, max total. So next year, when Funny Business gets its second batch, we should be okay. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and start the next year and see how it plays out. Let's begin. Am I ready? I'm ready. Yes. Let's begin. This is going to be interesting. I mean, this building is quite far off, and it's only because we gave it this, like, front like front yard kind of a space. I could have easily flipped that around, made this a back, you know, like a, a green area in the back, but I think this is nice. Some students might have to do a bit of running, but they'll be okay. I believe in them. I believe in them. Yeah, well, this, is a this is starting to get quite large, actually. Gonna add some decorative stuff over here and over here when we have some more money to do it with. And let's go ahead and make sure students are getting their private tutoring done right off the bat, because we want to make money during August, right? Uh, so a couple of things for us to organize, actually. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the campus celebrity cook-off. Yeah, that should wait until next year. I mean, this is, it's looking like a bit more of a packed second semester this time around. All right, you know what? Over to our students list. Take a look at our year three chefs. Highest levels we have are 13s. Really, eh? 13s. They might be okay. I mean, 15... We might be okay. We might be okay. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get... Isabel Almore. Get you to private tuition. And then we have... You're at 12, eh? Thomasina Tingle. Go ahead and get you to private uh, tutoring as well. 
just to just to help them out a little bit, level them up a bit further. Maybe we can do Celebrity Cook-Off uh, a little bit sooner. And uh, we just got to keep an eye on the, the, the lectures. I also want to keep an eye on students wanting the uh, lounge party, obviously. We'll, we'll want to pull that off for, for spring. I think we have enough time for that. Ooh, do we? 144 days. Each of these is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's say 9 times 3 is 270. We actually don't have enough time for that. It's going to have to be a winter, uh, a winter party. Oh, no. Huh. Well, let's first see if more students get interested in it or if I should invest that money elsewhere. Buddy wants that crazy taxi uh, aid machine, right? Maybe I should just go ahead and get it. Oh, plus three people agreed. Did that go up by one or am I, am I imagining things? Might be imagining things, but you know what? I, I've wanted this myself as well. So let's go ahead and unlock and place 250 kudosh. It'll cost, but I think it is a worthwhile expense. Where to put you? We've got the uh, lounge over here. Where do we have our other games? We've got this game up over here. Yeah, sure. Why don't we put you down? Oh, there we go. Put you down over here. Hmm... Not the happiest about how this space is looking. Alright, let's do this. Put you down there. Let's go ahead and pick you up and drop you off over here. So, you know, right next to the where you get your food and stuff. Actually, it could get you a little bit closer there. Go ahead and... No, we're not going to duplicate you just yet. We can't afford it. Let's move you over here. So this is like the, 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 the game space, right? You can play there, you can play there, you can dance over here in the middle if you'd like. Uh, get your food and drinks over here, sit down over here, a little bit of uh, some arcade machines back over here as well. I could nudge these over too. Yeah, let's do that maybe. Oh, this needs a lot of room, eh, for people to get in like that. All right. Keep you over here then, because that's a bit of a unique space. There's another goal accomplished, right? Cool, and this guy's waiting in line for his chance to play Crazy Taxi. Oh my god, it's it's legit, it's, it's Crazy Taxi. It's actually Crazy Taxi. Which, I mean, yeah, okay, makes sense, of course, Sega and all that, but it's still funny to see it in here and there you go six goals completed for chefs and how did our tutoring go uh, it looks like they did not actually get tutoring because the teachers weren't actually in here what is your course looking like your course load looking like you got a class to get to now all right fair enough fair enough ellie pratt can we get you in here level 12 i don't know if they'll get up there get you to level 12 perhaps get you in there ellie pratt get you in there and where are my teachers where are my teachers Fenton Beetroot, where are you? I wish I could like zoom in from here, but no, I gotta go here, gotta go here, gotta go to my teachers, Quentin Beetroot, Quentin Beetroot. Says he's lecturing, he's just taking a sweet time to get there, I guess. Move, move, quickly, buddy, quickly, buddy. Students are waiting for you. Gained some XP, though, so it looks like some tu tutoring must have happened. One student needs an experiment station for an assignment. What do you need, buddy? Oh, literally an experiment station. All right, let's take a look here. We just need to place it. Okay, good stuff. And drop you down over here. I was worried we had to unlock it. That's why you gotta be careful with the kudosh expense, right? Students coming through. Funny business. Yeah, what are you? Okay, I'm curious how that actually looks. All these guys, all these. What? Is that how, is that what a lecture looks like? A funny business lecture? Really curious how this class actually goes and how well students actually perform. And we can, of course, watch the uh, the tasty treats being made in the background as well. He's having a good time. Dude's having a field day. A little slapstick comedian. Level 2. Good for you. And quite a few of these folks are going to level up, I hope. You are teaching the introduction to experimental comedy. 90% teaching skill. Good stuff. Able to provide tuition as well, if need be. Alright. Not, not much going on as far as animations. That's interesting. Are they just surprised to be here? It does look like we have a queue for this mixing station, though I wonder if we shouldn't duplicate that. Can I duplicate you and pop you down on the other side? I can do that, and then the, that way they don't have to queue up, right? They can spread out and work a bit faster, get their assignments done faster, have more free time. I mean, my timing there, I was a little slow. But in general, that would help them move a bit faster. Again, money's looking all right. Money's looking all right. Monthly profit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's tight. But that doesn't include XP bonuses coming through and, and becoming higher down the line, right? Take a look at these goals again. Speed walking wheel wanted. One person agrees. All right. The August statement SU party wanted. Out of feeling. 
it's like alternating which which party gets uh, asked for. This will be our spring uh, spring mixer this time around. Then we're gonna start needing uh, clown uh, clown names as well. There's a veggie kiosk. Four people wanted a hundred kudosh. I think that's the right call. Again, I wanted uh, to get the, the 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 drink right, but um, hey, if they want the veggie kiosk and they want the veggie kiosk, go ahead and put you down over where. This would be a nice space, and this would be a nice space as well. I think this is the spot for it right now. Go and put you down like so, and we'll beautify these uh, these areas as well. Of course, go ahead and see if we can't hire ourselves. Oh, look at that XP bonus! Beautiful. Hire ourselves an assistant. Look at that library level. Oh my god. Oh my god, six? Are you kidding me? Yeah, for sure. Morris Tension. Morris Tension, you for sure need to be helping over here. Just help these students learn a bit fast, right? Uh, you need to only work at the library, please. Go and pick you up and get you there. Good stuff. No, don't replace anybody. I made room for everybody. Rich asparagus. Okay, cool. They're back. They're back. They're back. Because they're the only ones who can only. They, they're the ones who can only do this, right? So they're good. Getting some A pluses. Really, year one's getting A pluses right off the bat. Can't complain about that. That's awesome. I think in year two they're going to need some additional uh, resources in the library, right? But that's okay. That's not too bad. We got these guys using the payphone over here for entertainment. There's plenty down over here to use as well. You know, you don't have to queue up to that one. But if that's the vibe we're getting, let's go ahead and clone you and pop you down over here. Sure. Good stuff, good stuff. Overall student happiness looks pretty good. Dropping a little bit. I wonder why that is. Who are some of our unhappiest students? A couple of, what, newbies over here maybe? No, year threes. Just tired from all the, all the, all the courses, I guess. Winter's around the corner. Should we do celebrity cook-off? I think we'll be ready. I think we're ready. I believe in our kids. I believe in our students here. Be two level 13s, Isabel Almour, Morris Basket, and a level 12. Ginny Hero, meeting up with somebody. Why don't we go ahead and get you into a private tutoring, one session, get you to that level uh, 13, and I'll feel a lot better. Isabel Almour, do you have a class right now? You do, don't you? Damn. That's okay, we can make the two slots in December. So you'll go into tutoring right after that class is done, and these two slots in December is when we'll hold the cook-off uh, do we do that to inaugurate the new room? No, no, no. Let's go back to this one, if possible. Schedule a celebrity cook-off. Make a decent bit of money. Oh, gastronomy course needs to be level 5. Ah, dang. Alright, it'll have to be next year then. Not a problem, not a problem. It'll have to be next year. We could do something this year if we wanted to get some kudosh. The thing is, at the end of the day, we're not going to complete the three stars this academic year anyway because we of course uh we need you know a few more students and we won't get them until next year and i do wonder if i shouldn't get some more beds in as well and 97 students let's see go ahead and clone you pop you down on this side maybe pop you down on this side one two three four five times two that's 10 10 times five is 50 right 50 60 70, 70 students are covered. We do need another dorm. Could I fit you? We've got no, we got money coming in. We're, we're okay. Might even be able to repay that loan that I needed only temporarily. If I put you over here, I wouldn't fit. I'd have to shrink it ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Not the end of the world, like the cheapest uh, accommodations, right? So you know, for different uh, levels, like students with different uh, affordability. It's always good to have some variety like that. We'd have to move the pay phones. I don't mind that. Makes this space a little bit narrower. We wait and see if students start complaining about uh, missing uh, missing beds, because they do. The food chain, average food rating 70%, I will accept that. Thank you very much. Counting sheep wanted, 50 kudosh. And the speed walking wheel, 50 kudosh as well. Two people agree, two people agree, okay, might actually be worth investing in. Funny business open day, come on through, so that's a hundred... Ooh. We could bring DJ Souschef in. What do we need to set up the event? We need a stage, right? Don't know if we have room for a stage. Oh, we might actually, we might. Okay, hold on. Go ahead and we have money for a stage. That's the other question. I think, oh yeah, we have money, we're fine, we're fine. I was just talking about how we're financially doing all right. Again, we could pay that loan back or we could host a party 
for the holidays. Host a party for the holidays. Let's get the jukebox over here because that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, stage 18k. All right. Oh, it is. It's a large thing, isn't it? Oh, it's quite big. Okay, we, we still have room for it. Just got to move these back one more step. Didn't realize how much further back I'd have to move them. Not a problem, obviously. Pull all you back. The jukebox feels a little out of place there now, so why don't we go ahead and get the jukebox. All right, here's what we're going to do. Can go ahead and move you. Sorry, buddy. I know you're just about to pick up some, uh, some drink. Let's move that over there. And that way the jukebox can be right in the middle. Feels a bit more, like, reasonable, I guess. It's it's still kind of far, but I would assume there's, like, speakers hooked up and stuff, right? One, one would assume. Let's get the stage down over here. That should be enough room now. Yes, it is. Move you over to... There. I think that works nicely. A little hidden, so why don't we nudge the jukebox just ever so slightly this way. Cool. And then let's get this down over here. And we'll have a nice uh, concert for the uh, the winter uh, winter holidays. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's do it. Very fancy student union, isn't it? Would we not? Hmm. I was wondering about, like, we want to maybe upgrade or, or change some of the, the carpeting or anything. None of them really look particularly fancy, I guess, so we're fine as is. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, plan our event then. Student union, go ahead and get... DJ Sous Chef, because that's the request, right? Just to double check. DJ Sous Chef wanted. Yep, set up the event. DJ Sous Chef, go ahead and get you, yeah, schedule you in for the uh, the entirety of December. There's our uh, holiday show. DJ Sous Chef. I mean, that's a that's that's a pun enough, right? I don't I don't think I need to build on that. Maybe I do. Y'all, let me know if you have any suggestions for uh, for musical event names. I got some movie name suggestions, and I definitely have them noted down. But sure, at the student union, we'll have DJ Sous Chef coming in for the holidays. Go ahead and book that. Students will be happy about that. We'll be quite pleased, I think. Average food rating is rather low, eh? I, I just need more kiosks and stuff. It's hard to get to some of them. There's not enough variety, I suppose, in some spots. Hmm. That might be... Might be a little challenging unless we uh, invest a bit more in, into it. Maybe isn't a bad idea. These guys are hilarious. <laughs> is how they uh, interact? They're just... Vibing over here. All right. I mean, can't sure. I mean, if they're having a good time, they're having a good time. Can't complain about that. Ninety-seven students were so close. But again, like I said, celebrity cook-off can't happen until next year. Though upgrading our course to get those course points might be challenging. We'd have to expand this building, get some more rooms, and of course, students leveling up also helps with uh, with course points, right? Not forget that. The lounge party wanted. Su party wanted. Well, hang tight. Hang tight. Go and get the uh, counting sheep wheel. Fifty kudosh a piece, right? It'll it'll uh, it'll leave us with just five if we get both of those uh, uh, club items. And I don't think I feel comfortable having just five kudosh left in case a student needs something for uh, for an assignment, right? So maybe we wait until we we have a bit more kudosh. Again, I have career goals. I suppose I could invest or or, or claim. Sure. Same landscaping and personal goals. And that's actually enough to, to, to get both of what's been requested of us. So, counting sheep, three people agree. That'll help us out. Boy, if we had one of these, forget about it. Good night and sleep tight. Am I right or am I right? Kylie Blazer, you're right. Unlock in place. We could put these outside. I was, was, it was actually suggested in the uh, the comments that we could put these outside. And I quite like that, especially these. Uh, this one feels quite uh, fitting outside. Put you right over here, I suppose. Offset a little bit, like that. And then we could have some benches out over here to make this a bit nicer. Maybe uh, maybe a bunch of trees down over here. But that's not all we want, of course. We want the speed walking wheel as well. Uh, three people agree. Let's go ahead and unlock in place. All right. I know I could walk even faster. If only the campus would believe in us financially. I believe in you financially. Put you on the other end. Yeah, they don't mind walking further, right? It's just good practice. Put you down like so. There you go. Is that okay? I thought this was. It is. It's water. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And these students are getting tired because they have to go so far for their classes and stuff. Assistant needed in library one. Are they all resting right now? 
They seem to be doing all right. No, we got we got one. We're okay. Dudes are doing okay. Cheesy Gubbins is uh, coming back with a Cheesy Goblin. Fair enough. How are our students doing? Oh, hang on a second. It's showtime over here. We're missing it. We're missing it. Look at these dances. Look at these moves. Oh, this is pretty cool. They've got, like, people up at the stage. They've got people dancing as well, like, behind. That's actually really cool. Just that it interacts with the same event in, in a few different ways. Oh, she's got a mixing station! What? That's amazing! That, what? Okay, that's just, that's too good. That's too good. That's too good. Why are you getting upset? What are the, oh, personal failure. Delta is a personal goal. Ah, you know, it happens sometimes, it happens sometimes. That's good though. They should be making students a fair bit happier, I would imagine. Average happiness is looking pretty good, 75%. Average grades are looking pretty good as well. Where are our students though? I wanted to see. I wanted to see grades. Lowest grades. A bunch of these guys don't have classes until, uh, it looks like next, uh, next semester. I should have been actually sending them to tutoring. Bill Moose. High learning rate. Go for it. And Aurora Sandwich. The name like that. High learning rate. Go for it. Yeah. Got a few students tutoring. I should have been staying on top of that throughout the year. Just got a little distracted by all the fun events and stuff going down. Feeling good though. We've got a food inspection in progress. Curious how, how people actually interact with these. If they just nap at them or what. Monthly profit a bit lower this time around again. I got to stay on top of uh, tutoring and stuff. But I'm really pleased with, first of all, leveling up one more step. That takes us to 20. What do we need? 35 we need. 35 to get gastronomy one more step up. I hope I don't regret upping uh, this and, and using those course points. It's okay. You live and you learn. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just a matter of making sure our students are, are gaining, or rather not gaining XP, but leveling up. Because that's what actually, when they level up is when uh, when campus level gets a little bit of a boost. And clown shoes up here. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, highlighting that guy in the back there while all this is going on. Okay, that's just too funny. That was an entire, with the, yeah, okay. That's too good. <laughs> I am a child. I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't resist. But no, this is this is good. This is good. We're, we're level 16 already creeping up. If we end up needing to buy another... Um, <laughs> this is a good class. If we end up needing to buy another plot and, and build some more buildings or expand some of our ex existing ones, that's not a problem. It'll take us to level 17, which takes us to... Ooh, you know what? You know what? We're at 20. That would take us to 30. We need 35. We got to get to level 18. Okay. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Tutoring happening over here. Are you sure you don't need to be in class? No, you don't. Okay, not until not until a bit later. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, see what I mean? Where's where this teacher? Teacher required. Oh, Gil Kitten. Where's Gil Kitten? That's Luca Hurt. What's Gil Kitten up to? Gil is currently teaching just desserts. Julia Peters, teaching class as well. Clinton Beetroot. Oh, it's funny business. Uh, we don't have we don't have as many teachers as I thought. Actually, we might need another extra one to stay on top of tutoring. Why don't we go ahead and hire? Sorry, hire a teacher. Sure, let's get you. In here. Private tuition. Let's see if that brings a student in. Maybe. Maybe they'll get, uh... Oh. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> of course not. Why would it be so easy? I think it's also because they're they're already kind of like queued up to go there. <laughs> what happened there? Doing alright though. They're leveling up while that's happening. So that's okay. I gotta get uh, more organized about... Like, I want to make sure you are only doing tutoring. Because they've got um, the inspirational speaking. I, I guess, actually, if you have that, you should be teaching. You shouldn't be tutoring. I should do that. And when these courses end, in comes February, where all the teachers should be done. So this is when I kind of want to see you are, what are you? You are a good tutor. I want to make sure you are only doing tutoring. 
Research isn't even an option at this point in the game, but uh, but I just want to make sure we're organized here. You, you are on a break right now. Good teacher. You should just be teaching because then it affects the most number of students, right? Uh, same thing goes with inspirational speaker. L let's see if that organization helps or hurts. Uh, what about you? You're just a basic level gastronomy teacher. Okay. Fire you, I'll be honest, but we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Take a look at the goals real quick. We need a crescent bench. 13 people agree. Okay, if so many of you want the crescent bench, I will get you your crescent bench. Go ahead and put you down. Mm, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Why don't we do this kind of a thing where we have one, two, three, and four. Yeah, and then we can have some trees and stuff over here, increase the attractiveness. Where is the, uh, the, uh, this tree? Yeah, pop you down there. Pop you down here. That's nice, right? That's, that's attractive. Yeah. One down in the middle. Ah, can't do it. Ten kudosh. Sure, I hope you fit. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. It's a space, you know? <laughs> we'll get some more food stalls up over there. It looks like we need some more assistance, actually, to help with, uh, with, 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 uh, with these stations. So maybe we'll, we'll organize that, make sure students are being well-fed. Maybe that's why our... Oh, look. No, we, we, hit, we hit our... No, that's the open report. Where is our... 70% uh, hmm, food. Maybe I, maybe I missed that. Because I wouldn't mind uh, making sure our students are well-fed. If we do take a look at food... You're getting some food right now. What about drink? It's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Drink. A couple of red spots over here. Maybe we need some more water coolers or something back over there. We'll sort all that out and more folks next time. This is where we're calling it a session. Pretty pleased with how, uh, how this one went. We've got a whole new uh, campus building. A little bit more set aside, I suppose. I wouldn't mind... I really... I wouldn't mind if the game allowed you to set... Like, okay, you know what? Only first-year students are allowed to come uh, here or, or something like that. Only second-year students. And that way you can just organize things a bit more to organize where the classes end up. But I understand it's already automating so much of that and it would probably make it a hot mess if the player had control over that. But we could, though. We could say, like, okay, only, only funny business happens over here. Not that I think that's the right call. Maybe uh, funny business only happens over here. That might make sense. And that way it's dedicated. It's a smaller space. It's dedicated to a smaller course load. Uh, might not be a bad idea, actually. We'll uh, we'll take that into consideration. Let me know what you think about that. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that next time as well. But folks, we are very close to getting our third star, and it feels like next session will be our third star, and we might even see the beginnings of the uh, following campus. But uh, for sure, our third star. Uh, and again, that episode will be releasing tomorrow at the same time as today's. Folks, if you had a good time with today's episode, don't hesitate to hit that like button, of course, on your way out. It really helps me know what people are interested in on the channel. And of course, if you have any thoughts to, to share, Leave a comment down below as well. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.